Hello everyone and welcome back to Spokane as we get you ready for the field of 32. Uh, tomorrow should be a terrific showdown. NDSU takes on San Diego State, tries to punch its ticket to the Sweet 16. Can you believe that? It just doesn't even sound real. It, it's a new world, isn't it? Yeah. It seems really almost gothic being in here by ourselves in yeah. this empty arena with all black seats. The lighting is just really weird when nobody's in here. But it is sort of a weird path that we're on here with this program. Yes. Um, I think they have a chance to get to the Sweet 16. Mm -hmm. San Diego State is a good team. They're second in the country in defense. Uh, they're seventh in the country in defense and field goal percentage. But this isn't Syracuse. This isn't one of those teams that you go up against if you're NDSU and go, hey, we're uh, way outmatched here. I think they do match up in several respects. I think they're just as physical as they are, and I think they can play defense as, as well as they can. As wacky as this tournament continues to be, I mean, we saw Mercer upset Duke. Anything can really happen. I think NDSU needs to kind of just open their eyes to, you know, it's, it's, it's San Diego State. Granted, they've only lost four games all year, but any team is really beatable. It's a Mountain West Conference. It's not the ACC. Yeah. It's not the Big Ten. It's a team that you look at on as really good and athletic, but not something you can, I think, they'll be wowed at. NDSU has got to come out with the same sort of mentality, be a little loose, uh, not be tight like, like they were in the Summit League title game. Yeah. And, uh, and just play toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with them. It's not going to be pleasant tomorrow. It's going to be a physical game. Uh, you looked at Marshall Bjorklund today, black guy. You look at Taylor Braun, he's all scraped up. I think Saul Phillips today said they look, our team looks like a Chuck Wepner after a fight. I looked up Chuck Wepner. He's not a pleasant guy to look at. So, and he goes, there's nothing pretty about this team. And I think that's mentality they have to uh, prepare for against San Diego. We almost need to start punching ourselves in the face to just yeah. fit in around here. Well, do we look too good for them? Yeah. That's really scary. There we go. Uh, well, another big point made today was just uh, Taylor Braun. Well, what are you going to see from him tomorrow because Taylor Braun really struggled in that game yesterday uh, ended up falling out in overtime had a couple of key baskets there in overtime but are they going to be able to win against San Diego State without Braun at his best Lawrence Alexander played a terrific game but I don't know if you can count on him doing that again Elliot's gonna have to be terrific again because he's facing one of the best point guards in the country and Xavier Thames who is a Mountain West player of the year mm -hmm. Taylor Braun is running into kids this tournament who are just as tall and athletic and, and agile as he is. So it, it's not as easy as maneuvering, say, against uh, some of those summit teams. A uh, uh, different deal here. Yes, he's going to have to play a little better tomorrow. Ball uh, control is, is going to be a, a big thing in it, too. I know San Diego State likes to force turnovers. They had eight steals in their win over New Mexico State. Uh, and we saw NDSU being a little bit careless with the ball in that uh, matchup against Oklahoma. <laughs> They're going to face a pretty good press tomorrow. Uh, San Diego State can throw about five guys who are about 6'5 to 6'8 at you at all five spots on the floor, and they're pretty good at it too, and, and they can move. And, and so uh, the press breaker is going to be a big deal for NDSU tomorrow. One interesting thing I took away from today's press conference is Steve Fisher, the head coach of San Diego State, a legendary coach, coached in Michigan, recruited the Fab Five. That's pretty good on a resume. Sal Phillips, uh, NDSU's head coach, and I know both of them just kind of had a pretty nice respect for one another even though they really only formally met a couple days ago. Steve Fisher is 68 years old. He kind of reminds me of John Wooden a little bit if you yeah. look at him out there. A little Larry Brown in there mixed in. And he's been around the block obviously a bunch. Uh, has coached in three national title games. Uh, his experience factor is obviously on San Diego State's side yeah. just with him alone. Um, but, you know, Saul Phillips is making a name. I mean, he is. And if uh, we can talk about this another day, but I think he's coached himself into something better. Yep, we'll see what happens. Uh, but hopefully they can put that story on hold as NDSU tries to punch its ticket to the Sweet 16. I don't know if that's ever going to sound right, but we'll see if they're playing in Anaheim next week. For Jeff Kolpak, this is Jody Norstead. Enjoy the game tomorrow, folks. We'll be live blogging as well, so join us there.